Number five, write the nuclide notation, including charge, if applicable, for atoms with the following char characteristics. And then we have our example here. So we have to write a nuclide notation with 25 protons, 20 neutrons, and 24 electrons. Let's go. So the first thing we have to do is we have to know how to write a nuclide notation. So the blueprint is this right here. There's going to be a max, you're probably saying, what? What are all these colors? <laughs> There's going to be a max of four different entries, which I've color coded. Now, let's do the easiest ones first. Now there's these two small boxes, which are going to be numbers. This is where your charge is going to be. So depending on if we do have a charge or not, we will put a value up here. And then this big box is who the element is. Now when you're doing your nuclide notation, you only want the element symbol. You don't want the full name. But how are we gonna find out what element this is? Well, it's all about the protons, right? Every single element has its own unique number for protons. And the proton number is the um, whole number that's on the periodic table for each element. It's not the decimal values here. So in this case, we have 25 protons. So I'm just going to scan the periodic table to find out where the guy 25 is, and that's right here. 25 is manganese, right? The 25, uh, big 25 right there is the proton number. That's manganese, which is MN. So I'm going straight for it, and I'm saying that this is MN. Beautiful. Three more to go. Now let's go work from the bottom up. The bottom number for your nuclide notation is going to be your atomic number. Now, the atomic number is a fancy way for saying, drum roll please, the number of protons. And they gave us that information, 25. So I'm putting a big 25 right in the, in the bottom number. Now, let's do the top number. The top number is the atomic mass. Now, the atomic mass is coming from the mass of the nucleus of the atom. That's where the bulk of the mass for the atom is. And there are two subatomic particles that are in the nucleus. It is the protons. And let's just add here. And it's the neutrons. So protons and neutrons are in the nucleus. Um, and that makes up the atomic mass. So they told us that we had 25 protons. So 25 plus... 20 neutrons, so 25 plus 20 is a big whopping 45. So 45 is going on the top. And just know that the top number always should be bigger than the bottom number, and we have that, so we're good to go. So maybe I'll say 25 plus 20 is 45, and that's where that number goes. Now, last but not least, we need to see if we have a charge. Now the charge is the positives and the negatives combating each other. Now just know that the protons, P for proton, but P for positive. Your protons have a positive charge. So because you have 25 protons, you have 25 plus charges. And these are coming together with the negative charges, which are the electrons. Electrons are always negative. Keep in mind that neutrals well, neutrons, neutral, they have no charge, so their charge is a zero. So that's why you don't add the neutrons into your charge, because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just zero. But now we have 25 pluses coming in with 24 negatives, right? Who's going to win the battle, right? We got 25 pluses and we got 24 negatives. Basically, all you got to do is 25 minus 24 and you get a plus one, a plus one overall charge. So in this case, we do have a charge, and it's a plus one. Now, you don't have to put the one there, so you could just say plus, or I'll just put the plus one just to show you guys, but that's the four main things. This whole thing is your nuclide notation, and that's that. So you got a 45 on top, you got 25 on the bottom, 
MN for manganese, and this one has a plus one charge. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to be a member, we opened up memberships. Uh, we got four tiers, tons of cool stuff. So check it out. Not obligated, not mandatory, but any little bit helps us out, which in turn helps you out by us putting more videos out there and cool new stuff. All right. I hope you have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.